Hi, and welcome to part two of our Water Advanced plugin tutorial. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can add floating objects to your river. If you haven't already watched the previous video on the Water Advanced plugin, I highly recommend you do so, since this tutorial assumes certain plugins and project settings are already in place. So here we are back in our river scene, and there's one thing I didn't cover in the previous video. When we enabled the water plugin and restarted Unreal, you may have seen this warning message. If you clicked on Add Entry to Default Engine.ini, great, nothing else to do. But if you didn't, you'll need to make sure you do so the next time you load up your scene, or else what I'm about to show you isn't going to work. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. Let's drag a sphere mesh into our scene. and we'll position it just above the river. In the Details panel, scroll down to the Physics section and enable Simulate Physics. Next, scroll down to the Collision section and look for the Physical Material Override setting. Click on the drop-down and select Default Buoyancy Physical Material. If you don't see it in the list, then click on the folder icon. And in your folder list, scroll to the bottom and look for the Water Advanced folder and click on it. Then open the Materials folder and you should see it in there. Assign it to your physical material override slot. Next, select your water body river actor. In the details panel, scroll down to the collision preset section. Click on the drop down and select custom. In the collision enabled setting, click on the drop down and select query and probe. Scroll down just a little bit and look for the Object Responses section. For the Physics Body object, enable the Block setting. Okay, let's test it out. Select your Shallow Water River object and in the Details panel, click the Reset button to reset the simulation. Then click the Bake button. Set your render state to Water Component with Baked Sim. Then click on your Level Simulate button. Your sphere should now float along your river. But it looks a little on the sluggish side. Here's how we can adjust that. Stop your level simulation. Then go to Edit, then Project Settings. Search for Water Drag. And change this value to 0 0.01. Rerun the level simulation. It should look a bit more natural now. Devin Penny stated that the default value of 1.0 will be tweaked in version 5.7. That concludes part two of this tutorial on the new Water Advanced plugin. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button and leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're notified when new videos are posted. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.